Also tonight, three teens are facing serious troubles after a threat at a local high school. Uh, their classmates and parents woke up to the scary situation this morning. The Grafton High School students were taken into custody before classes even began. Tonight, we know more about the thread of texts that got them in so much hot water. 10 on your side, Sasha Tolliver has more on this for us tonight. The York Pocosin Sheriff's Office worked through the night to make sure this incident was handled properly. And now they're encouraging parents to use this as a learning lesson to pay attention to what their children are doing on their phones and social media. A potentially dangerous incident was prevented when a parent spoke up about text on their child's phone last night in York County. The York Pocosin Sheriff's Office says deputies received information around 10 p.m. that three Grafton High School students were sending threatening texts. Basically threats to shoot, burn and bomb Grafton High School Middle School Complex. Officials say those students were teenage boys. Two were 14 and one was 15. Major Ron Montgomery with the York Pocosin Sheriff's Office says one of the students' parents alerted the Sheriff's Office about the messages. We identified where the text came from, went to those homes, interviewed those students. Montgomery says they didn't find any guns in their investigation, but did collect the cell phones and are still digging into those. He's hoping this will be a teaching moment for parents and the community. I think that the, the community and, the, and any parent should monitor their, their child's social media pages, their cell phone, their texts on a regular basis. And if they see something like this, they need to take it seriously and report it. After searching through the night to find the students, they were all taken into custody and transported to the Merrimack Detention Center. Deputies say they've been charged with conspiracy, threats to bomb and burn, and threats of death on school property. In addition to criminal charges, the students will face disciplinary action. Major Montgomery says they have no reason to believe any other students were involved at this time. And he also says the case has now been turned over to the Commonwealth's Attorney's Office for prosecution. In York County, I'm Aisha Tolliver, 10 on your side.